Today we're building a Hack Mini, and that means that we're taking a regular old PC that we're building ourselves and making it to run Mac OS X. Now, it's not going to be as small as a Mac Mini you'd buy in the store from Apple, but it's going to be pretty small, like the size of a network attached storage device, or NAS as it's abbreviated. So we're going to get a Mini ITX case and a bunch of other parts that make up a computer and build them into our Mac Mini. To find out what those parts are, you should visit the post on lifehacker.com, which is linked on your screen at the moment, hopefully. And then you just get all that, build your computer, you build it like you build any other computer, you mount your motherboard, you pop in your CPU, GPU, RAM, etc., and plug everything in, boot it up, see if it works. And then you've got a working computer, except we need to install Mac OS X to make this a real Hackintosh. So let's get to it. In order to begin the installation, we need to make some alterations to the BIOS on your computer. So hold down the delete key on your keyboard while it's booting up. Eventually you'll see the BIOS screen and you need to arrow down to advanced BIOS features. From there you'll want to go to quick boot, make sure it's disabled, it probably already is. But then you'll want to change the boot order. The first one should be CD-ROM and the second one should be hard disk. The third can be whatever you like. Lastly, go to hard disk boot priority and make sure that the boot disk is the one that you're going to install OS X on. This is only something you need to do if you have multiple hard drives in your machine. When you're done, hit escape until you can get back to the main BIOS setup screen and then hit F10. You'll be asked if you want to save your changes. You say yes by typing a Y if it's not already typed for you and hitting enter. This will allow your computer to boot up. Now you want to make sure you have the iBoot CD in your computer right now so it will boot to iBoot. And once iBoot is booted up, then you can just eject it from your CD-ROM drive and put in the Mac OS X Snow Leopard install CD. Now once you have that in, select it and it will boot from that CD and you can install OS X just like you would on any normal Mac. Once your computer boots after the installation, that's when the hard work begins. Alright, now that we've got OS X installed, we just need to install all the stuff that's going to make our Hack Mini work. To do that, we need a couple of things. We need the Mac OS X combo update, we need MultiBeast, and we need the Realtek RTL81XX etc. driver by LNX to Mac. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. So first of all, we're going to open up MultiBeast. And then we're going to open up Realtek. There we go. And we're not going to do anything with these right now. What we need to do first is update to OS 10.6.8. I have the 10.6.6 installer here, but it's the same thing. So you go through here, you install this. It's going to take a little while. You wait till it's done. When it's done, it will say restart. Don't do that. Leave it here. Minimize it, whatever you want. And then it's time to install both of these little things. So first up, let's go to MultiBeast because that's where all the work happens. Go to get through here, agree, blah, blah, blah. Choose the hard drive you're installing it on. I'm not actually going to install any of this stuff because this is a real Mac for, and we're doing this for demonstration purposes. So you have a bunch of options here. Easy Beast, not for us. User DSDT, that is for us. And you may have noticed that you have a DSDT file that you saved, um, and you want one of these three, depending on what your firmware version is. And so whatever it is, just make a copy of it on the desktop and you can leave it there and when you check user DSDT like we just did that will take care of everything it knows to look there for the DSDT file so just keep that one there don't put a bunch of them on the desktop just that one so let's take a look we're going to also check all of system utilities so it rebuilds the cache and repairs permissions when it's all done very important every time you make any text alterations in your Hackintosh system you want to do that Next we've got drivers and bootloaders, so we've got to go through this a little bit more specifically. First, texts and enablers. In audio, you want to take a look at these. What we need is the Realtek ALC8XX HDA, so I'm going to check that. And we also have to roll back Apple HDA. So every time that you update the system, it's at your, your system update is probably going to overwrite something called Apple HDA. So you're going to need to run MultiBeast and install this every time you update the operating system. And you can do it just like this. You can run the co download and run the combo update rather than using software update and then install this Apple HDA rollback and then when you restart you'll still have sound and you won't have to restart twice. Alternatively you could just restart after the update and then install this because everything's going to work, hopefully. Um, 
and reinstalling this just to get sound working is fine. You don't have to reinstall this. This is always going to be there. You just have to roll back to Apple HDA, um, the, the old version of Apple HDA for this to work. So other than that, we need to go into disk and check jmicron SATA. So we get our disks working on the motherboard uh, properly. Graphics, we don't need anything because that's going to get taken care of a little bit later. Miscellaneous, we need two things. One is fake SMC plugins. Fake SMC will be installed um, by itself through other things we're checking, so don't worry about that. And then USB 3.0. Yes, you can have USB 3.0 on a Mac. It's pretty great. Lastly, um, you'll notice that in the network section, this is, uh, this is what we're installing um, for our Ethernet card, but uh, we don't need to, um, we don't actually need to install this here because it'll just launch this and we already have that open. Bootloaders will be installed by themselves and then later on you'll see that we are going to install under customization boot options 64-bit um, Apple boot screen and this will make the graphics card work as it's supposed to but we're not doing that yet. Lastly, as an option, you can install OS X86 software, anything in here that you want to install, but you don't have to do any of that. So when you're done, hit continue, hit install, and let MultiBeast do its thing. And then when you're done with that, you'll install the Realtek driver, which you go through this, and the only option that you really have to pay attention to here is that you want to install the release version. And so then when you do that, you'll hit continue and install, and it will install. So when this is all done, you have in, you have your uh, install Mac OS 10 update combined, finished, and there'll be a nice little restart button here. And you'll click that, and when you click that, it will restart the computer, and all of this stuff will be installed. So hopefully, cross your fingers, everything will work perfectly. And then when you've restarted and open up MultiBeast again, you'll go to um, Customization, Boot Options, and check 64-bit Apple boot screen. You'll hit continue, you'll install that and only that, and then you'll restart your computer and graphics card should work great and sound and ethernet uh, should already be working great and you'll have a hack mini up and running and it will be awesome.